Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a stitch. I uh, put a very short uh, tutorial or just showing you how to do this stitch. It's a very easy stitch, one row repeat. This has to be worked in rounds, this uh, this stitch. So this is with the pink and this is with the, with the white. So if you want to do this for a hat, infinity scarf, even a basket, yeah, if you use some material that is sturdy and uh, hard. So this is the the stitch. Okay, let's uh, let's do the stitch. I'm going to show you how to do the the foundation uh, single crochet chain. So what we're going to do? Let's put it this a little bit closer. So you're going to do the knot the way you like, yeah? And with this stitch, I recommend that you put even numbers if you don't want to slip stitch to join the, the rows yeah, when you start a new row. So with this stitch, with this foundation chain, we're going to chain two chains, one and two. We're going to go to the first chain that we did. We're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull the yarn to the first loop, yarn over and pull the yarn to these two loops. Then we're going to go back to this line here, this one. So we're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull the yarn through the first loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull the yarn through the next two loops. And again, we're going to go to this line, this one, pull up a loop, pull the yarn through the first loop, pull the yarn to the last two. And again, we're going to go to this line. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So you go in there, pull up a loop, pull the yarn through the first loop, and then pull the yarn to the next two loops. So in here, we have the stitches. When you put it, it's like this. So you have one, two, three, four stitches. Yeah. So you do like this uh, as many as you like. Depends your crochet item that you're gonna do. So I have here the, the chain. I put even numbers. So what we're gonna do now, like the normal way we do the, the chains, this we're gonna go to this line. Yeah. And we're gonna pick up a loop, leave the loop on the hook, and now we're gonna have to bring this together. Yeah. So we're kinda turning like this. Yeah and then take this and bring it here and we're gonna go through this first space here in the beginning where we start to do the how you say the the chains yeah so bring it like this and then poke into that first space there and then we're gonna do a pull the yarn through that chain, this one, and then we're gonna do a slip stitch through the first loop. There, we have two loops, yarn over and pull the yarn to the last two. Yeah. And now we're gonna go to the first, you see, it's like this. Yeah. So we're gonna go f to the first stitch, this one. And we're gonna do a slip stitch again. Okay, now chain one. And this is the stitch that we're gonna work. Yeah. It's looking like this. So this is the where we joined. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna skip the next stitch. We're gonna skip this one. And into the next, we're gonna do a single crochet. And we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped this one and in here we're gonna do a puff depends on uh, on your yarn how thick it is you're gonna go two three four times I'm gonna go only three times so once go back again second and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops skip the next stitch and into the next we're gonna do the same we start with a single crochet and now we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped and in there we're gonna do a puff so once twice 
and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops skip the next stitch and into the next we're gonna do the same single crochet and now we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped in there and we're gonna do a puff so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops and it looks like this so you're gonna do like this skip the next stitch and into the next we're gonna do a single crochet and now we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped and we're gonna do a puff so once twice and the third time if your yarn is a little bit thinner you can go four times yeah. so we're gonna do like this until the end you skip the next stitch and into the next you're gonna do a single crochet and you go back and do a puff to the through the stitch that you just skipped and if you pull this higher the loops the puffs will look bigger yeah? so it looks like uh, like this <coughs> so skip the next stitch and into the next we're doing the same single crochet first and we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped and we're gonna do a puff so once twice and the third time skip the next and into the next single crochet and we go back to the stitch that we skipped and we're gonna do a puff so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops skip the next stitch and into the next we're doing the same single crochet first we go back to the stitch that we skipped and we do a puff so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops skip the next stitch and into the next we're doing the same so what i'm going to show you now if you want to to have a a slip stitch then you're gonna have to how you say uh, chain odd number when you do the foundation chain yeah. but now I'm showing you how to work just uh, in rounds without a slip stitch and uh, joining the the row if you're new to this then it's best if you how you say put put a marker in the beginning of the row to know exactly where you start the row in case you want to change colors yeah. so now at the end here there is the tail where we join the the foundation chain so we have left two stitches one and two we're gonna skip the next stitch and into the next in here we're gonna do a single crochet and now we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped and we're gonna do a puff in there so once, twice, and the third time. Pull the yarn through all three loops. And now you have the puff, the stitch on top of the puff, yeah, and the next stitch here. So we're gonna skip this the next stitch and into the next between the puffs. We're gonna go in there and do a single crochet. And on, we're gonna go back to the stitch that we skipped which is on top of the puff and you're gonna go in there and do a puff yeah so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops skip the next stitch and into the next which is between the puffs yeah this one in here we're gonna do a single crochet you go back to this stitch that you skipped right there and do a puff so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops so you see you're gonna skip this stitch and into the next we're gonna do a single crochet and then we go back to do the puff into this stitch so skip this one and into the next do a single crochet and we go back to the stitch that we skipped this yarn is kind of thick so I go only three times if your yarn is thinner you can go four times so skip the next stitch and into the next we're doing the same single crochet first go back to the stitch that you skipped 
and then do a puff skip and into the next single crochet go back to the stitch that we skipped and we're gonna do there a puff so we skip into the next I just wanted to reach the end and show you how to do because this is gonna be the what you're gonna do on and on and on until you finish your project whatever you choose to do so you skip in the next single crochet we go back to that stitch that we skipped and do a puff so we skip and into the next we're doing the same and we go back to do the puff like I said if you when you pull these loops higher than the puffs they're gonna look a little bit bigger so we skip the next stitch and into the next right there between the puffs we're gonna do a single crochet and we're gonna go back to this stitch that we skipped and do a puff so once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops we're almost the end because I like to keep this tail here that I see in case you change colors in here will be the the where you put let's say the the marker and you will know to change colors if you choose to do that so we go back to the stitch that we skipped and do a puff yeah well this one is going to eat a lot of yarn so we skip the next stitch and into the next we're going to do a single crochet and we go back to the stitch that we skipped and do a puff pull the yarn through all the loops so in here will be the, the time that you gonna when you skip this and you go into the next now is the time to, to change colors so you're gonna go directly you attach the, the color so what you're gonna do now you start a new row you skip this stitch and into the next you're gonna do a single crochet you go back to the stitch that you skipped and you're gonna do a puff and in this case you're not gonna have um, how you say the slip stitch mark when you slip stitch to join the new row so you skip the next stitch and into the next we're gonna do a single crochet we go back to the stitch that we skipped and do a puff once twice and the third time pull the yarn through all the loops so this is the look it looks like this yeah. so you keep doing like this until the, the end of the project I think for a hat this will be really warm because this is, I'm, I'm stretching and you will see these openings here but when you put the hat and it's okay or the infinity scarf this is not gonna be like this this is very warm yeah so this one it's <coughs> you see in here you don't see any slip stitch where we uh, started a new row in here you will see the the slip stitch so with this I chained um, how you say odd numbers yeah I think it was 43 chains or stitches with this foundation chain yeah so you see the the joining with this one you don't see it it's just directly goes yeah I think for infinity scarf it's perfect for a hat it's perfect yeah so this is uh, the stitch I hope you like this stitch and you give it a try especially if you have a lot of yarn that you have to get rid of yeah so I'm I'm stretching this for you to see how it looks but the stitch is like this yeah? so you can uh, choose to do many colors whatever you choose to, to do yeah or change colors in between yeah okay well thank you for watching have a good day bye bye